All right, guys, welcome back. In this question, we have a frame ABC that is supported in part by cable DBE that passes through a frictionless ring at point B. Uh, knowing that the tension in the cable is 385 Newton, we need to determine the components of the force exerted by the cable on the support D. So what we need to figure out is finding the force in the cable db let's uh show it with f what we need to figure out is we have to find the f db in a vector form which means first of all we have to know the the tension in the cable which we call the f and from the question we know is 385 and we have to find the unit vector db in order to find the force in vector form and for finding the unit vector or and db uh, we can also show it with lambda 2 what we need to find is db and the magnitude of the db and one easy way to do this is to find the coordinates of b and coordinates of b minus d would give us uh, the vector db and for finding that we have to find the x component of b and subtract that by the x component of d uh, let's go with that one first so if you want to find the x component of b we have 480 millimeter and if we want to find the x component of d we have zero so this will be our x or i component if we want to find the y component looking at the b we see that it's in the x y z plane so there is no y component and for d the y component will be 510 so that's our j and for k if we look at uh, z component of b we'll see that we are uh, on the positive side of z and it's 600 so we have 600 for that and if we look at the z component of d we'll see that we have 280 so that would be the numerator and if we want to find the magnitude we simply have the square root of i component squared which is 480 plus uh, 5 min squared plus 600 minus 280 which is 320 squared and that's what we have for the unit vector uh, if we calculate the bottom of the ratio we'll get 770 millimeter but let's let's find the f so for finding f db what we have is again f times the unit vector which from the question we know f is 385 what we have for unit vector is for ad for i minus 510j and 320k and what we find at the end for here will be 240 for i component uh, minus 255 for j and we'll add 160 for k and that would be all and the unit will be newton and that would be the final answer for this question see you guys next time